Bunny. Yes. Let's talk movies. The silver screen, the big screen, the cinema. <laughs> yes. Because there's a lot happening right now. The First off, the sound engineer pornographic film A Quiet Place continues to excel expectations, pulling in over $132 million in just 17 days and on a $17 million budget. Huh. Plus, net, let, let's also not forget the most amazing part of the success of A Quiet Place, the fact that suddenly people give a shit about Jim from The Office again. <laughs> That's probably the most amazing part of this film, is that suddenly I'm seeing a lot more of Jim from The Office. That's the weirdest part. Yeah. People care about... Shut up, I've always fucking cared about Jim. Jim from The Office. Maxwell, are you just watching the beginning over and over again? Are you trying to see which one has Venom? That's Spider-Man 3. That's Venom. That's Spider-Man 3. Could have just come to me in the beginning. And I can let you. That, you just clicked on 2. Go down. There you go. There you go. That's the one Why with the number 3 on it. The worst. Because he loves Venom. And as oh much as God. I hate... What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Toby, uh, Toby McGuire. McGuire. No, 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 the guy who played Venom. Oh. The guy who played Eddie Brock. That 70s show. Topher. Topher. Topher Grace. Grace uh. As much as I hate Topher Grace, at least his so voice is green. normal. At least he's not the one prancing down the streets dancing. Yeah. Making it, me super uncomfortable. Yeah, but I saw the preview for the new Venom movie. And he um, wants to fuck it? No, I don't care about that. The thing that I, that I hate is that the guy playing Eddie Brock has the worst New York accent. I've ever seen. Hey, how you doing? My name's Eddie Brock. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm walking gonna, here. I'm gonna get a hot dog. I got this goo on me now. I'm venom. Ooh, scary. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's really bad. It's really can bad. You do that just a little bit more, please. You know, uh, I don't know if I. We should try and get this Spider Man. <laughs> I'm speaking from the side of my mouth. <laughs> The the no, little bit the, I've seen of this current venom in the sunlight and it's grossing me out. I can't sit here anymore. Well, the and thing not that to the thing the fact in ten minutes, twenty minutes, that sun's going to be directed. The thing that you're seeing that's probably just a symbiote. Symbiote, because that's how it's symbiote? pronounced now. Apparently, symbiote <laughs> is how it's pronounced. You know what the best according to the new preview? Symbiote it's... is how it's pronounced now. <laughs> I always thought it was symbiote, but fucking whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, it should be symbiote because it's a symbiotic relationship. You know what the best That's thing kind become, of what it's based on. You know what the best thing to come Ugh. from the Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Mans were? My secondhand hmm. embarrassment? Um, J J Simmons as... Oh, JJ? No, 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 J.K. No. Simmons? The J.K. Best? Simmons. <laughs> What's his name? Like J.K. J.K. Rowling? No. His name is J.K. J. Simmons. Yeah. But it's it's, okay. it's 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 J Jonah Jameson. That's what I said. It's so J nobody J could J outdo J that J shit. The best part of the Tobey Maguire Spider Man is great. Bone Saw. Bone Saw, yes. Bone Saw. Bone Saw is ready. <laughs> I, I think I have to agree. I don't know. I don't remember that. I've tried to block these Tobey Maguire films. Yeah. Out. No, see, Tobey Maguire fucked Spider Man up for me so bad. I have refused to watch any of the new ones. Because I don't want uh, to be disappointed. I thought I showed you Homecoming. That was really good. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was the, but you know what? That was the first one. And it took how long for you to get me to fucking sit down and watch that? Yeah, though? long time. Because Tobey uh, Maguire just, like, we were sitting in the theater and I was just like, oh, oh my God, Steve, no, this is no. making me so uncomfortable. I am so embarrassed for him. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, I, I suffered <laughs> such a, like, I got the, fucking um, secondhand embarrassment James. PTSD. <laughs> going on because of Tobey um, Maguire and I refused to watch that and watch another Spider-Man film until Steve forced me to watch Homecoming yeah because <laughs> he, he insisted I watched Homecoming because you know Spider-Man was in Marvel now and I loved their take on Mary Jane yeah because she yeah. was she was wonderful anyways I'm I'm sorry. why are you here you don't have detention yes I just love I just like to sketch people in crisis <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> then, then there's the massive success of Super Troopers 2. And by massive oh success, God. I mean that Super Troopers 2 somehow didn't completely bomb. Yeah. So technically, it's a big success. If you remember, people said the same thing about the Catwoman movie with Halle Berry. People said, hey, this movie isn't all crap. Uh huh. But my dad loves that movie. That's what they said at the time. Nowadays, people say that it's horrible. Except for Halle Berry. She said that, hey, do you know how much money I made? That, that was they huge couldn't for me. tell you how crappy it was because it had a black woman starring in it. And <laughs> then there's a brand new movie that's really pushing the envelope. Let me explain. See, this morning, I was driving to our massive 30-story Pope on Film Studios, where each week we tape this podcast in front of a live heavily drugged up audience yes and on my way to the studio i happened to drive past one of our three shitty movie theaters and i always like to look at the marquee you know uh -huh. to check out what's playing what's new what's the haps in the world of motion pictures i really like to pay attention to that marquee too i slow down my car park in the middle of the street cause accidents accidents many killed and they're playing a movie there on the marquee that I hadn't heard of before, really pushing the envelope, and I'm excited to see it. It sounds pretty great. Let me explain it to you. It sounds yeah. wonderful. Uh, okay, Eleanor's trying to escape. There you go. Got to lock that door. The film is called Isle of Dogs Rampage. Okay. Now, sounds this good is so what far. I believe. Yeah, this is what I believe the movie is about, okay? This is what I believe the plot to be of Isle of Dogs Rampage. It's basically Battle Royal, but there's an island, and on that island is every famous TV and movie dog, and they have to kill each other until only one dog remains. Uh-huh. Okay. This could very well be one of the greatest movies of all time, Isle of Dogs Rampage. Oh, is Isle of Dogs really good? <laughs> I don't know, but Isle of Dogs Rampage, my Battle Royale type movie, is going to be huge. So, it's a tiny island, every famous dog is on is on that island, and they all have to kill each other until only one dog remains. Here's my list of all of the dogs that are going to be on this island. Okay. Snoopy. Yes. He's going he's gonna to do pretty good, because he's and, street smart. And, and, yeah, and he gets the early money. Yeah. Yeah. Marmaduke. Let's mm, not forget Marmaduke. He's got size. You know, he's got yeah, size, but, but he's kind of dumb. Yeah. Scooby and Scrappy, I think in the beginning they're both going to team up, but you eventually you know Scooby's going to turn on Scrappy. Yeah. You just know that's going to happen. Muttley. Muttley, uh-huh. Muttley. He, he Lassie. Didn't, he didn't do anything but laugh, so... Yeah, yeah. So I don't think I don't think he's gonna be that great. Lassie, Lassie's got the speed, and I think that Lassie really could last until the end. But there's no way Lassie's winning because in order to win, you really gotta be kind of cutthroat, and Lassie doesn't have that in him or her. No, no killer instinct. Hachi. Yeah, Hachi, the sad dead dog. Okay. If you haven't seen the movie, then do yourself a favor and don't. Uh, Balto. Balto has got the stamina because Balto is going super far to get medicine for people. So Balto is definitely, yeah, he's also half wolf. So so Balto has the stamina, might last for a while. Yeah. Yes. I didn't put any from Homeward Bound or uh, or Otis or Milo or anything from any of those, but that's a good idea. They might be in this too. Beethoven. Beethoven, yeah. Beethoven. Brian Griffin. Okay. Who might last like halfway. I don't think Brian Griffin is going to go all the way. Here's someone who has a chance to make it all the way. Mr. Peabody. Ah. This is a smart-ass dog. Yeah, that's true. And he built a time machine. So there's a good chance that Mr. Peabody's going all the way. I, I would agree. Cat dog. Cat dog, or at least one half of cat dog. Okay. I don't think he's going to last that long because 
the the dog half of cat dog will be fighting but the cat half of cat dog won't want to fight so i think that cat dog might be taken out quickly so uh toto toto's toto's like the 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 popular one but toto's going down quick yeah so is this next dog odie 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 yeah odie doesn't stand a fucking chance yeah doesn't stand a fucking chance Pluto and Goofy. I think these two are going to have a massive epic rivalry. Probably because Goofy is the Uncle Tom and so Pluto goes nuts. Yeah. You know? I can see that. Yeah. Bl- Blue from Blue's Clues. Okay. Poss- possibly Blue and Blue's friend Magenta. Not entirely sure about that yet. Benji. Benji's getting knocked off pretty quick. Uh huh. Spuds McKenzie. I think Spuds McKenzie would last longer than people would expect, but still, Spuds is going down. Here is an underdog that I think could take it all the way. Bimbo, Betty Boop's boyfriend. Bimbo. Oh, yeah, he's one to watch. Yeah. You know. Uh... Yeah. Cause let's, uh, yeah. Cause let's not forget, you know, all the things he's already been through. Want to be a member? Want to be a member? Yeah. No. So already, Bimbo has been through a lot. Yeah. So I think Bimbo, you know, he's not the most popular person on the Isle of Dogs, but I think that Bimbo could go all the way. He's definitely an underdog. Speaking of underdogs, underdog. <laughs> mm-hmm. is also going to be on here and he's one to watch because he has powers uh old yeller yeah droopy droopy i think could also go all the way because droopy doesn't give a fuck because he has seasonal depression and you put a knife in his hand in his paw mm-hmm. and he'll go nuts on some motherfuckers i i i yeah, agree he is a nihilist totally would. At man. Yeah. He has no conscience. No. I'm already depressed. I'm going to kill Lassie. <laughs> Gromit. Gromit, okay. Gromit. Yeah, Gromit is a smart, resourceful guy. But could he bring himself to kill someone? Uh, yeah, I don't know if he can bring himself to kill someone. Here's one that I think, here's another underdog that I think might go far. Rolf the dog. What about Clifford? Let's Rolf. not forget. Let's not forget, Rolf got his start playing in, like, piano bars and shit. Yeah. Jazz clubs. Yeah, jazz clubs. So so he he could go far. Here's another contender, because I'm not sure how you would kill this one. Frankenweenie. Oh. I don't know. How would you kill Frankenweenie? That's a difficult one. Yeah. Now, here... Here is de- here is here is one that that will definitely be a crowd favorite, Clifford. Clifford, everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's got a nostalgia Clifford benefit going dog. for him. Oh, oh, Clifford! No, I'm yes. sorry. I, I I totally jumped the rail and heard Heathcliff. I don't know why. That's a cat. no Clifford the big red dog. Here's yeah. Here's the thing about Clifford the Big Red Dog. Everyone will assume that Clifford's going to win. But if watching Royal Rumbles has taught me anything, it's that in the beginning of this thing, all the other dogs will automatically focus on the other bigger dogs, which means Clifford will probably get eliminated quick. Uh Uh-huh. You got a point. You got a point. And that's experience. Yeah. 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 That's experience. That's what they used to do with Andre the Giant. Yeah, you would have to get him uh, out. Quick. Hong Kong Fooey. Uh huh. Hong Kong Fooey. The Bulldog from Tom and Jerry. Wishbone, the dog from Wishbone. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna go far. Santa's little helper, the Simpsons dog. He's uh-huh. a scrappy one. Here's one of my favorites, Snowball. Snowball, the uh, smart, semi-robotic dog from Rick and Morty. Okay. Snowball's going for 
Not familiar with like, that dog, like so I can't set the odds. Yeah. The Tramp, but not Lady. Just the Tramp. I think the Tramp will go far. He lives on the streets. Yes, he does. Now, here's definitely, along with Odie, this is definitely one of the, this next one is one of the first dogs that's going to go down. Doug, the dog who can talk from up. Ah. Uh... That dog is going down. The talking dog from up is going down pretty quickly. My name is Doug, and I love you. You have stabbed me. That dog is going down. No, Clifford's 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 going to be one of the first to go down. Everyone's going to team up on him. Uh, Max, the Grinch's dog. Here's here's definitely the odds on favorite. I think Cujo. Yeah. That's huge, Cujo. Um, you know, sometimes a dog, when it when it when it's really successful, uh, just gets cocky, and I think that's what that that'll be Cujo's undoing. Yeah, Cujo, be an odds-on favorite, and he'll yeah he'll get cocky. Everyone will expect him to win, but there's no way he's going all the way. Yeah, what I'm saying is that this. This has potential, Bunny. Oh, it totally has potential, yes, potential. without a doubt. Oh, yeah. Isle of Dogs Rampage. Super excited about it. I spent way too much time thinking about this. <laughs> Over this week, Isle of Dogs Rampage. Super excited about this film. 